Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I want to start off this video by thanking all the new subscribers. I've gotten a big tick in subscribers and I'm really happy about that. Stick along with the channel, grow with me because I'm going to be doing a lot of things in this basement as far as not only fin finishing it but also just building things in it um, like a drone. I really want to build a drone. One of those extreme flying ones so see how it goes and that's when the when the basement is officially done those are one of the things that i want to do so i hope you guys consider subscribing whoever hasn't subscribed and the ones that have subscribed thank you for doing that i'm really happy and thanks for that so let me show you what we're going to be doing in this video so we have two cabinets just like this one that we're going to be mounting up there so i got to move this out the way and also we are going to be installing the under counter lights, which is LED strip. This is the LED like housing. This is the driver. This is gonna be the switch that's gonna be connected to a sensor and this is the sensor. And this is what we use to mount the, the sensor on the ceiling. And this is the wire we're gonna be using. But first things first, I have to unbox these Husky cabinets and get them mounted. Anything you guys are interested in, like the Husky boxes or that equipment that's there for the under cabinet lights, look in the description. I'm always gonna leave those things there. And if I forget, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer all the comments. I get to all the comments. So let's start this unboxing. So that was just a test fit. Everything's looking good. As you guys can see, this is even up here. And the reason why it's even is because there is some notches. You can't really see it here. Let me show you guys here. So as you guys can see, on the right side, it is a female where it notches in. And then on the left side, this one I have to take out. It is male where it comes out. So as long as these line up, it's gonna be even on top. Looking at this, I was like, why it feels so low? The reason why it feels so low to me is because this one is so high. And the reason why I had to make this one so high is because of those outlets. So if it wasn't for those outlets and that access door, if we're being honest. I would have probably put it the same height as this, but this will do. They're both serving completely different purposes, so it should be fine like that. So I got to unmount this one one more time just to put the bracket, this bracket for that cabinet, and then I could permanently install it, which is putting the screws down here and then putting the hardware in there, which is this hardware, these holes. I'm gonna bolt it from the other side to this cabinet. So that's what we're doing. So here we are, it is officially mounted. Please don't pay attention to these stickers. It's 
a pain to get that off. I don't want to use any chemicals or anything on that matte black just because I'm afraid it's going to damage it. So I'm going to be taking that off with my nails and I'll just do that off camera. But check it out. It's mounted. This is officially up. This one is permanently on. I just got to put the shelf and the things that I'm going to be putting in this cabinet is things for the household, things that I buy in bulk, like toothpaste, toothbrushes, things of that nature is going to go here. And then in this cabinet, it's going to be things like glue, wood glue, um, epoxy, all those other things that I use for projects. Before I'm able to finalize this cabinet, I am going to be installing the driver and the switch for the under cabinet lighting in this top right corner. So I am going to have to drill a hole through it like we did with this one and to get the power through because we're going to be feeding the under cabinet lights with the outlet that's down here. So we have to send the wire down and over to the outlet that's behind that access door. But first, we have to bench test this. We have to put we have to put these two things together and then connect the LED strip. Unfortunately, the LED strip is not here yet. It says it's gonna be here later on tonight. So I have to wait for that to get here. So I'm going to be putting this on pause for the moment. And as soon as I get it, I'll turn the camera back on, put everything together and bench test it because you do not want to put everything in its place, make the holes and everything. And then it turns out none of this stuff works together. And then you have to take everything apart and you probably have made some holes where you shouldn't have made holes. So I'm gonna wait till I get that. In the meantime, I'm gonna be putting stuff in the household cabinet just to get this cabinet out of here forever. So I'll see you guys on the next scene. So it's working and it's working perfectly. The only difference between what I did in the kitchen and here is that you have the um, purple and gray wire and to make this power pack work with a dimmable LED, you are going to need these two wires. You need a driver that's able to be wired with the purple and gray. If I'm being honest with you, I don't really know what those two do they throw like a zero to 10 volts. I just don't know like what is the point of them, but this is, if you want to use this system and you want to do it with a power pack, you have to have these two wires. So yeah, so it's working. And as you can see, I have it powered over there and everything's good and working. So the next step that I have to do is since I am going to be running the wires like this so the power pack is going to be on top of here and then these wires are going to meet in here and this is going to be the splice box of where i put everything together and since i'm going to have this here i'm just going to pop an outlet in there there's no harm no foul in there if i'm going to have an electrical box in this area I'm going to put an outlet in it. So I went out and also bought a outlet with two USBs. So if I need to charge something or anything, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, uh, since this is going inside the cabinet and I have black paint, I'm gonna be going outside and I'm going to be painting these two items black, flat black, just so that it looks cleaner within this cabinet.
I've done a lot and it was a bit frustrating. Let me show you exactly what I did. So first, I ran this wire from up here to down here because that is that outlet right there. That's where we're gonna get the power from. So we officially have the power to this area. I made the hole bigger because I want to be able to, you know, move it around. Then over here, I have everything in its place. This is where the power is gonna be coming from. I have these two wires here, which is the dim what makes it dimmable, the LED dimmable. I have it going through the back because I don't want any wire sticking out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The reason why I did this is because I want there to be some air that could be able to go through the back just in case this thing gets overheated or something. I don't think that will be a problem here, but just in case I kept that space in the back. And um, to be honest, another thing I didn't know, I didn't know how I was gonna mount it. And I thought that this would be the best way. So yeah, if I ever wanna take this out, I have to unmount it. <laughs> so yeah, so everything is pretty much in its place. I just gotta put the nut that goes here, tighten the nut that's up here, and run the wires that I can run. So like put a wire nut on this, send the wire down through the back, through the bottom in the back for the LED lights. And then nut that off and close that off. And then all I have to worry about is the high voltage. So I'm going to be putting this on the floor to do the work on the floor. Only because it is easier for me to work on it and it's also easier to film. But it is kind of cramped and tight. So I'm gonna do the best I can to get the angles. The pro to get the proper angles but yeah this is where we at so let's finish this project Well, everyone, I have wired everything. Just for those that don't know, I hook up the electric to this outlet. So I hooked it up in such a way that if that GFI was to pop, it will also pop this outlet up here. So everything's in sync. 
Um, like I said earlier, I was not able to use a USB outlet because it took up too much space. So I had to use a regular black outlet, but that is looking really clean. Also, because we do not have time, I ran this wire through this hole right here. It's gonna be hidden in there like so. And I don't know if I'm gonna use this hole or not. I just decided to shove it through there. It's in and temporarily installed. And it's temporarily installed because I ran out of time out in this video. This work took longer than expected. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing in the next video. For now, I am going to hit this switch right here. And the lights are on. So everything works perfectly. Everything looks clean. I love how it came out. Uh, I wish the, that whole mechanism or wiring wasn't in there and it wasn't taking up so much space, but it is what it is. I'm happy I have an outlet in there. I might be using that outlet for the camera, but um, I don't know how I'm gonna run that wire because I ordered some film to cover this side of the cabinet because I do not like these holes here. So I'm gonna be doing that on the next video. The under cabinets are in. Like I said earlier in the video, this setup is expensive. Just the power pack alone is about 200 bucks. That's how much I found it for on Amazon. I was able to get that one for free, but it makes everything easier. A little more wires, but it makes everything easier because you don't have to run wires for the switch. Or you could always do what I did in the upstairs kitchen. And like I said, I'll leave it in this corner, a link to it in this corner, I think, or in the description. If you don't find it in the corner, it'll be in the description. So there's other ways of doing this and I did it in that video. So because I ran out of time, in the next video, we are going to be running the channel for the LED strips underneath. We are going to be putting maybe around this area, this sensor, so that when I walk in, it automatically turns on. And I'm also going to be putting this switch right there, here. So it could also work with this sensor. So both the top light and the under cabinet lights are gonna turn on together with that one sensor. And that is my goal for the next video to complete this under cabinet lighting project. It's really exciting seeing all of this coming to life. I have been planning this for a very long time and I'm happy with all of it. I'm ha I really love this white room with the black cabinets. It makes it pop. It does take a little bit of space and make it feel small. When you have a small room, you want everything to be white so it could feel like you have a lot of space, but it's all good. It's a basement. It's my workshop. It's where I'm going to be filming most of my videos. So I like the contrast. So yeah. That's what's going on. That's what's gonna happen in the next video. Consider subscribing because there's a lot of things going on in this basement and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks.